Hi everyone, here I am with another uh, video. I do a few projects at a time and then I add all my videos at once. So this is another one of my projects that I've completed. Right now we're working on a swap for many of them, scraps.ning.com for uh, the Chunky Charms. And the theme is fashion. And we had to create not only um, chunky charms, but displays that uh, showed you fashion. And that's what I want to show you. We had to do three, and all three of mine are all different. They have uh, the same type of fashion charms. As far as the metal charms go, they all have the same. But the other charms that I made are slightly different. And of course, the uh, display boards are different. I tried to make the display boards look like a window in a department store where a lady would go shopping to buy her clothes. And the first one I want to show you is my, of course, shabby chic. I'm going to take the uh, chunky charm away for a minute. This is the display board I made. And I wanted, like I said, I wanted to make it look like... Um, a window display that you would see in a department store and I this um, dress form is actually on the paper uh, itself and it's tray chic the uh, paper line that I used I believe it's with that cuts with a view and then I made these two this is um, just um, a dress form top out of and I used a different paper and I put up pearl belt on it and then I made a full dress form here and I used the leopard print paper with some pearls coming down they're clear pearls and then of course a pink rose and I added some lace and uh, striped paper here and then over here on this dress form I added one of my little flowers that I make out of lace and this is a heart bead that I got off of eBay and it's really pretty and I wanted to add that to that but the thing we're doing is the chunky charms and this one you'll see the colors of all three charms in it but the main color is the pink I have some um, feathers I have a couple different feathers here that you might see in a boa I have a little bottle of perfume charm I have a little uh, dress charm here. I have a purse charm. This is a little purse. And somewhere hiding in here, oh, here we go, is a gold shoe charm. And then, of course, I made the other ones. I got this, these little round charms here. I love those. And I got whole, oh my gosh, I don't know how many orders of the different ones I got. But there's this style here, and then this one here, and these are the ones you'll find on all of them. You'll find the metal charms the same, and then these round charms. You'll find them on all three pieces. And then here's one that actually has pink roses in it that's really pretty. Here's another one with some uh, roses on it back here. And then I have this big charm. This is a heart charm here, and I added... Um, that's the one I added the feather on and then here's some hot pink here and the spacer beads I mentioned in my ACT card swap, uh, swap video those are the spacer beads oh I love them they're so pretty and then this is a spacer bead here this gold I got that at um, um, Oriental Trading I got that one from so but I tried to fill them with as many strands as I could. And I think most of them have 15 to 17 uh, different charms on them. And, of course, I used the Tim Holtz. Uh, I, I don't know if that's a swivel class or just a, a class. I'm not sure. Um, but this is my shabby chic one. And I just love it. I just love all the different charms and all that. Now the next one I like too. And it is the teal one. But I'm going to show you the board first. This is the board. As I said, I wanted to try to do them 
as window displays, and I did three dress forms. This is like a little, um, I guess you could say there. these two are like little party dresses, and I used some teal lace for the bottom of the dress. This is the lace, this lace I actually got out in California back in September of last year when I was there. And then I put some on here too. And this is pink, this, I'm uh, not pink, a uh, little light green, almost like a mint green. I also got that in California. And then these two little flowers here are actually from Prima. Here's another one of those heart beads that I got. And then a little crystal bead. And um, then, of course, I used the pearls and the lace at the bottom. But this is my teal display that you might find in a department store window. And here is uh, the chunky charm for that. And as I said, it has the same uh, be, uh, charm, metal charms, and these bead type things here as the other one. The only difference between this chunky charm and the other one is you will find mostly teals. The uh, last one you saw mostly uh, the pink, uh, on there. This one is mostly all teals. You'll have a little bit of red because I did some the same and of course the pink but mostly all uh, teal. I have a little yellow one in here. It has the perfume bottle on the bottom and of course this one actually has two of the dress forms on it because I had made two uh, teal uh, hanging charms the same and I thought well, I'm going to go ahead and put two dress forms on there that's okay and of course it has the feathers the different kind of feathers but this would be my um, my teal window display with the chunky charm and like I said they have anywhere between 15 and um, uh, 15 and 17 hanging charms and you know, I tried to just do different things. Here's little mini beads here. I got these little ones. This one here at the bottom and then at the top. I got those off of eBay too. So, but I've been having a good time buying off of eBay. And, um, but that's my teal window display with a chunky charm. So, and then finally, this last one, it sort of reminds me of Paris because um, the paper pack I used has a little bit of a matter of fact I think it's the same paper pack as the first one because it when the pack was done and it was sort of color coded so let me show you the the window display first and I did it with the leopard background and um, I put this really wide lace at the bottom the black and then I put this real fancy lace here and then I put a strand of pearls over top of that and this was a tag that come in the paper pack and I decided to use it as a little accent for this particular dress form and um, on this dress form I did a black bow with a bright red rose on it I thought that looked pretty and then I did a shorter um, dress form. It's a little uh, three-dimensional almost with some of the lace that I used on here. I used up here with the beads. And then this is the paper. You'll recognize it from my one um, ACT card in my last video. and Because I wanted it to be red and cream and black, this display. And I put some of the beads down the side with a red rose there. But that's the card for um, my sort of like my Paris theme chunky charm and you'll notice it's mostly reds there is some pink in there and there's even a little bit of the teal and again it has the same type of uh, charms that the other two had this one of course has two of the this type of feather on it I don't think I put the other kind of feather on it maybe I didn't and it has a little bit of a different dress it has a little like a little ballerina dress but it also has a dress like on the other ones and the perfume bottle and there's the purse and the shoe and of course these little charms I really love them I have all kinds I ordered off of eBay and I just thought they were so pretty but when I was making like these charms I would make 
three of the same, and I just kept them so that each card would have a similar, at least have them all. Each of them would have one of these here, and here's one. It has some little um, crystals and the red, uh, the red pearls, and it has a big hunker here. I forget where I, I might have got that done in packets hands. I'm not sure. And it has a hat. I had an extra um, hat charm from uh, I got from uh, Oriental Trading. But most of my uh, my metal charms, I got them mostly off of eBay. And um, but that's that's that one. It has a little. It even has a little bit of gold in there with the pink on that one, and it has the purse charm on it. So, and as I said, I tried to put between 15 and 17 hanging charms from the Tim Holtz. Uh, char uh, uh, thingy here. What, what's that called? You know what I mean. But that's my third one. This is the one I'm going to be sending into um, Mary. And I really like all of them. And um, I enjoy putting them together. I made all the charms and got them all ready. I have a little metal dress form that I keep in my uh, in my craft room. And uh, I hung them all on there. Then I worked on the cards. And I did them by theme. And once they were all together and ready, then I put the charms together. And then last night I attached all the charms to to the window displays. So that is uh, what I'm going to be setting in for the Chunky Charm Swap for uh, the fashion theme. And I hope you all like what I've done. And uh, let me know how you feel about my things. Um, I, I'm very encouraged by my comments. And yins are also very kind. And and wonderful. So I'm going to run for now, but I want to thank you for stopping by. I want to thank you for watching my video. And I just want to tell you, I appreciate all of you very much. Very, very much. Thank you for stopping by and watching my video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.